and keep subs and keep subscribing and subscribing and sharing my videos with the loved ones and families and friends so today i'm going to show you how to make uh, samosa pockets i'm not perfect but i do try so i'm going to show you how i do it so we learn together every day is a learning day so we get to learn some things are not perfect i just try them and they come out fine some days they don't come out good like <laughs> the other day i made mandazis you saw how my i messed up that was bad anyway so today i'm going to show you how to make uh, samosa pockets then i'll show another video of how, how to make the fillings and how to do it and fry them but today specifically we are going to do the pockets only okay uh, let's go ahead and start with the recipe it just it's very simple we're just going to need uh unga your chapati that is uh wheat flour i have mine here this this is one kg you don't have to use the specific brand you can get the brand you have or purpose flour any brand this is my one kg so i'm going to use like three cups of the flour and uh, I'll add some salt and oil yeah salt oil and yeah that is it that is it guys just three ingredients you need flour salt water just that to make your samosa pockets let's go ahead and start on the recipe so here I have we have our basin and our flour. Let me wash my hands. So in here I'm going to put about three cups of flour. Just basically, it's like half the one kg. Like uh, I'm, do, I'm doing the like uh, half a kg, five hundred grams. That is it. So that is it. Is that? Just like two or three. I'm going to add that much, like one and a half teaspoon of salt <laughs> one tablespoon of oil and yes and a half one tablespoon and a half Then do this. Then I'll keep adding water as I need the dough. Then I get the perfect dough. I think I should have used a small bit in the tea.
glue is well needed so what I'm going to do I'm going to just transfer it to this container here because it has a lid I let it rest for like uh, we let it rest for about 30 minutes so I'm just going to let that rest while well, that is resting I'll be preparing my fillings which I'll show you in my next video this one is about just how to make the pockets so here we have our unga that has been resting I'm going to take it place it here on the surface it's clean guys so I'm just going to add some unga To roll it with my hands like that then get about 10 pieces of equal size I'm not that approximate but about the same size I don't know whether I'll get 10 or Whichever number I get. Look, I'm good. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight pieces. This one is big. Ten. So I just place them here on top of this thing. Just here. Place them there. Then the square motor. Using my rolling pin, I spread it. I'm not very good in doing this. Then I don't have the best of the best rolling pin. Mine got lost. This one, Minomba Kwajirani. That much. Take your oil, okay, dog. I'm going to take my hand. Then I do ungaki dog. Oops, sorry. Now can you kind of take another one? Oh. I don't know how to do perfect. Circles and then this thing is bad. A rolling pin means I think in the pair my young for Jiran and I could have it here because I can't really find it and I had already purposed to do this video so can't back on you guys. There we go. Again, you do as I had done earlier. I move it with my hands because they are clean. You know, then I 
little bit of flour then you place on top of that other one and you continue like that until you are done with all the continue until you are done with all your dongles these ones my man these are not so i'll fast forward that place guys The last one we don't apply anything we just place it there that one, i did four four these are four these are four so after that we come again do this we are now going to roll them together So it's rolled like that. Then we go get our pan. You can place it on a baking tray and then bake it for about two minutes in an already heat oven. But because I don't have an oven, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the pan. Let's do that. So, okay. put our pan on it. Then take our flour and place it there. When it's bigger than the pan, you did the heat one. on the pan but not let it cook kabisa like just kidogo like see see put the other side you see the aqua chapo Already, I just put the fire off because the pan is already hot, and you see it's almost cooked. It just want to make it get cooked. So that one is done. Is a after we have our things the ones we have cooked already so we need just to cut the sides and make the shapes so I will uh, cut all the sides like that going to remove them. This is the first one. There's one in a shikana. This is the two middle ones. There we go. I cut this part. I'm not perfect, guys. I'm just trying.
I'm cutting these places because they didn't cook well. There we go. And we have our eight pieces. Then what you do, you get your samosas, you get your paste. Oh my god, no, this is okay. It's my worst place. I don't know how to do this. With this one, I think I can cut twice like that. Then you do this and this and this. Do that. Now shape, doing the shapes is my worst of it. Okay. You get one of these. You cut it like that. Then we do like that. There. We'll add the paste here. Then you do like that. You get that shape. Then you fold this other edge like that. You get it? You do that. Then that. And then you'll fold it. I'm not so good in doing this, but basically that's how I do mine. You get that, that, then that. You get your pocket and you'll fold it. So just basically that's how you do your samosa pockets, guys. Very easy and simple. And you place your stuff inside there. Oh, how else do we do this? You can do it like that. 